Hello, and welcome to More Than Organized Monday. I'm Miriam, and today we're going to talk about our emotions. I know, it's crazy. All of our emotions show up in our things. And so when I help people declutter, it's quite amazing that um, just dealing with the emotions allows the clutter to stop piling up even farther. So I wanted to point out some areas where it might be showing up for you. There's three main things that come up time and again for my clients. That feeling when you get home of exhaustion and being drained and like you just don't have any more energy. And so you put things down just for now and you'll deal with it later. That piece of the puzzle. That is actually a feeling of lack of confidence. It can be a feeling of, I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm not going to do it. It can be, I'm not living a satisfying and meaningful life. And so I'm extra drained. And sometimes it can be just, I don't feel great today. And so that's okay. All of those things are okay. But not then picking up the thread and dealing with the stuff a little bit later allows you to stay stuck there in the, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not good enough. Um, I'm a loser. I don't, I'm not perfect. I'll never be good. You know, all those kinds of self-talk uh, emotions that come up because the pile gets bigger and bigger as you leave things around. Um, we want to stop that by reframing a little bit. If you put something down just for now to deal with later, figure out when later will be. I love to use the image of, you know, when you get home from work and you put a bunch of stuff down um, or you're coming in the house and you've got to pee <laughs> and you have stuff in your hands and you don't know what to do in what order. And so you dump stuff by the door and you run pee and then you come back and hopefully pick the stuff up you left by the door. Well, it's the same thing when you leave it on the dining room table or the countertop and you aren't running to the bathroom. You're just choosing not to do it now. So think about it in terms of I've left this because I'm doing something else and I have to come back to this as soon as humanly possible versus I'll just leave it for later and every single day is later and it never gets done and the pile keeps growing. So it's just have a plan to come back to it as soon as possible. There's always going to be that day where you don't feel good or a slight emergency with the kids comes up or you just overscheduled a little bit and you're not going to finish, but you pick it up where you left off as soon as possible. And that's what allows you to develop the habit of taking care of things and putting your toys away and putting things away when you bring them home from the store and that kind of thing keeps the clutter a little more at bay. Um, the next thing is we overbuy because we aren't 100% sure of what we have, but also because we use shopping as retail therapy. It's the worst thing we ever invented, I must say. <laughs> There's lots and lots of stuff that um, we bring home that we didn't intend to or doesn't serve an actual purpose. We were just tempted due to marketing efforts and or fatigue at the store. And so we overbought. So start thinking about, I only shop with a list because it simplifies my life. I streamline my life by only shopping with a list. Now, we're all going to mess up occasionally. I get these bizarre cravings for Reese's peanut butter cups almost every time I'm in line at a grocery store. But it doesn't mean you buy a case of them. It means you might buy one. <laughs> so think about that. Um, we're going to maintain connection between our space, our available space, how we use, how frequently, um, and uh, sorry, I'm having all kinds of weird things come up. I'm having a helicopter going overhead. It's messing up my microphone. I hope things are all right. Um, okay. So retail therapy, just use a list. Let's reframe and use a list so that you have more energy to deal with your new things and try out your new stuff rather than feeling drained and um, 
I don't know what I'm doing and now I got to go to the store and return things. It just takes more time when you don't use a list when you shop all around. Um, the third thing that comes up for a lot of my clients is the guilt they feel from not following through with things they intended to do. So there's a little bit of over promising. There's a little bit of perfectionist tendency, and there's a whole lot of guilt about not taking care of other people or about taking any time for yourself so that you can be a better human and make better decisions about all the things in your life, not just the clutter. But when you experience guilt at that level where it shuts you down, it's just going to lead to more piles because guilt leads to, leads to feeling bad and depression and anxiety. And you overcompensate by trying too hard, too many things, and then you're exhausted. And we get back into the whole cycle of too much, too quick, not enough, um, not perfect, I meant to do. I can't believe I'm such a bad friend. We don't want to do that. No. Instead, you're going to start taking care of yourself first so that you can be your best. And then you're going to spend time with your friends, not things with your friends and family. Let's talk time um, rather than stuff. It's not your responsibility to, to keep track of all the interests of every one of your friends and save things for them. They're going to find their own stuff. And they have their own clutter to deal with. So let's keep it your clutter. Um, and the flip side of that is you don't need to keep things that people give you because they were thinking of you. Remember that, that, um, that what is it called? The little saying about uh, it's the thought that counts. What are those called? The word escapes me right now. Um, but it's the thought that counts, not the thing. So you get to decide when you are given a gift, if you like it or not, and if you're going to want to um, hang on to it, you get to decide what to do with it. So hopefully these things help a little bit. Putting off your emotions to deal with later is not a good idea. Of course, remember what I said. If you have to put things down for now till later, you pick them back up as soon as you can. Okay, that's it for this week. I will see you next week. In, and uh, don't forget to like, follow, share, tell all your friends. It's just more fun when we do it together. And in the meantime, have a delightful day.